Hello to all my artsy friends. I have three gorgeous spring crafts, so let's get started on the first one. Let's start by making the flowers that will go on the front of the mason jars. This large stamp creates a scalloped circle, so I cut 12 out of a regular piece of paper. We'll be using four for each flower. I grabbed a Dollar Tree dowel and used it to wrap the scalloped circle around and gathered it up a little bit to create a flower shape. Today I'm joining some friends who are doing their own take on spring crafts. There will be a playlist, which I will link below, so you can check out the other spring DIYs. I glued these together and adjusted them until I was happy with the shape. Then I hot glued a few sprigs of greenery on either side. You can find glass mason jars at Dollar Tree. They come with lids and are usually crystal clear, but I am upcycling my mason jars from a previous project. That's why mine have a few little splotches of paint on them. We are going to spray paint these with a flat black spray paint. I'm going to wrap the neck of the jar with some buffalo check ribbon and cut the ribbon so it will fit to the top of the jar. Then I just hot glued that into place. I attached the flower and added some greenery. I got this greenery from Amazon, but I know you can find lots of greenery options similar to this at Dollar Tree. I decided to add a bow to the center of the jar just to make it look a little bit different from the other two. And here are the prices for everything we used. I really wanted to make something different for spring by using black and white. I don't think you can ever go wrong with black and white decor. It is timeless and elegant. I found these rolls of felt at Dollar Tree and I cut them into strips. And we are going to wrap those around a styrofoam floral ring. I used a little hot glue to secure the felt strips onto the back of the floral ring. I overlapped them slightly and angled them to make sure they looked consistent going all the way around. For all my new artsy friends, thank you so much for becoming part of this positive, creative community. My name is Maria, and every Friday I share home decor videos like dupes of expensive decor, budget-friendly DIYs, and inspiration that changes with the season, so you can always keep your home decor fresh and on trend. Sometimes I will have a bonus video during the week, so in addition to subscribing, make sure that notification bell is on, and then you won't miss out on those bonus videos.
I had one spot that got missed, but that's okay because we are going to make a big bow that will cover that up. I wrapped this checkered ribbon back and forth a few times until I had three loops on either side. And then I trimmed a small triangle on both sides of the middle. I used a piece of floral wire to secure the middle. And then all that's left to do is fluff up the bow to your liking. I added a few sprigs of greenery on either side of the bow. The black, white, and green really go so well together. Let me know what you think of this color combination in the comment section below. I just love hearing from you guys. Here are all the prices for the supplies we used. I had picked up these two Harvest Blessing signs from Dollar Tree back around Thanksgiving time, but they do usually have these shapes of signs for every season, so you may be able to find them at your Dollar Tree. They just may look a little different. I spray painted those with a flat black paint and then I used a bit of E6000 to glue them together. I added some of that buffalo check ribbon to the bottom. I found this small jar at Dollar Tree. It originally came with a glass lid. I spray painted that with some flat white spray paint and I think it really gave it a chic look. I'll be adding some greenery to that jar to finish off the look. I created a small bow for the top and attached it with some hot glue. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll know when my next DIYs get posted, and I'll link that playlist below so you can see some more spring craft ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a creative day. Bye!